after Jay Lalita, who the part tussle, the struggle within the AIA DMK hasn't settled. In fact, it's intensified. There's a new angle added to it. The party cadre, they've gathered outside the AIA DMK headquarters to celebrate MGR's 100th birth anniversary. And as the new party general secretary, Sasi Kala, honored MGR this morning, Jailalita's niece announced her decision to enter politics and the AIA DMK. Deepa Jaikumar said she was the rightful heir to Jailalita's legacy, also to MGR's legacy. The announcement was made as Deepa's supporters raised slogans on the streets claiming she was Amma's true successor. Deepa Jai Kumar spoke to India today in her first interview after taking the political plunge. Now, Deepa Jai Kumar, she spoke exclusively to India today. She spoke of how Jai Lalita motivated her to join politics and what her dreams, her plans for Tamil Nadu are. Let's listen in. So we have a historical moment in Tamil Nadu where the niece of uh, AIDMK's former General Secretary Jail is with us and she has decided to enter politics. Let us ask her a few questions. So congratulations on your decision. So you said you're going to enter politics today and on 24th uh, during Jail birthday you're going to announce the next step. This between in between period, what is it like going to be? It is going to be an interactive period with the people and with the cadre of AIDMK who have welcomed me to into uh, making this decision. It's a landmark decision of my life uh, and my career. So I think uh, I want to give it a special moment and that is the reason why I chose this date as a tribute to her. Well, you came to the limelight after December 5th and within some 30-35 days you have crossed up to the level where you are able to create a own party but you said like you have you're still keeping your options open. Are you overwhelmed by the response from the people? Yes, definitely. Uh, at first I was uh, surprised, then I was shocked and now uh, it's kind of overwhelming and uh, I understand uh, their love and support. So I'm really looking forward uh, to convert this opportunity into doing something useful for the uh, people of Tamil Nadu and for society. Well, when Jailalita came to the limelight as a politician, she used the term Makkalal Naan, Makkal Naan. What is going to be your tagline and what is going to be the formula for you to conduct politics in Tamil Nadu? I am going to simply follow that. And I have put it across in my own words. And uh, I uh, could see uh, the mood of the people when I said Ungal Naan, which means the same in my own words. So, uh, to the stronger point now, Sishikala appointed as General Secretary of the party. You said you are going with a larger view of the people. Now, you have to tell us what is a larger view of the people because you are a politician now. The larger view of the people is very obvious. And uh, that, as I predicted, uh, I think uh, much earlier, even before all this happened, that there will be widespread resentment, which is what is happening now. As a fresh politician, what do you think is the status of Tamil Nadu now, politically? Uh, there is a lot of divide uh, and a lot of uh, uh, issues uh, that the common man faces. But these are made uh, into big issues, like uh, for instance, uh, I mean the uncertainty of the state. Politically? Yes, politically there is uncertainty and the people are lacking direction. They don't know whom to uh, believe in anymore. This is the situation. I think this uh, needs to be addressed to first and changed and the confidence should be uh, given to the people that there is someone, there will be the emergence of a new leader who is simply going to do good for you. And uh, they can uh, rely on me, trust me, and look forward for a, uh, a good future. So Jay Jailalita's niece has announced her decision to join politics. Comparisons between Deepa Jai Kumar and Jailalita are already being drawn. In fact, Deepa will now emerge, it appears, as the successor. Look at these posters that are now on the streets of Tamil Nadu. The similarity, the physical similarity to Jay Jay Lalita is being highlighted in these posters. And in the past several weeks, Jay Kumar is Miss Jay Kumar appears to be looking more and more like Jay Lalita.
her style, the way she styled a sari, waving to supporters. In her first interview after announcing her decision to join politics, Deepa said that her late aunt would have supported her in this endeavor. Let's listen in. So what are her credentials? What more do we know? So she was a journalist. What more do we know of her political avatar? Pramod Madhav, my colleague with me on the story. Also joining us is T.S. Sudhir, a political analyst. A. Sarvanan is the spokesperson of the DMK. And advocate C. Rajasekharan uh, also joins us on the broadcast. He's considered close to the AIA DMK. But Pramod, tell us a little more about Ms. Jaikumar's background. Well, uh, Gaurav, before that, I would like to tell you, like, look at the people over here who are standing in front of Deepa's house right now. Uh, she was supposed to make a political appearance of uh, appearance in front of her house around 4 p.m. Apparently, due to some time lag, she has only uh, so, like, you know, come out of her house right now, and you can see the crowd. Well, this crowd is not just a crowd from Chennai. There are people from Bangalore, even Thiruvallur, Salem, so much districts from the place over here. They, are, they have come over here. She started to speak as well. As she promised, she, has, uh, uh, she is addressing her cadres and the followers over here. And as you asked about the background of Deepa Jayakumar, we have to know that she was a niece, a favorite niece of Jayalalitha, along with Deepak, her brother and Deepa. They were very close to her to some extent. But apparently there was a fallout around 2000 where she left the place. She left Poets Garden along with her family and moved out to this place in Tinagar. This is her brother's house as well. In fact, we come to know that even her brother stays here. She informed us that she was uh, working in Bangalore as a realtor. She was a realtor in Bangalore and right now she's back into politics and she wants to like prove that uh, she can uh, take Jailalta's legacy forward. This, is, this seems to be her tagline that, that she will take Jailalta's legacy forward, especially the welfare project she had for the people of Tamil Nadu and especially she mentioned the uh, welfare for the women and not just that, she is not interested in any property of Jailalta. All she wants is a pen that Jailalta used. This is what she wants from the entire property of Jailalta is what she says, Gaurav. Okay. Once her legacy does not want her property, Mr. Raj Sekharan, so who is the successor? Is, is the battle for succession clearly not over many factions? Because we just heard Ms. Jaikumar, uh, Deepa Jaikumar say that there is widespread unrest in the AIA DMK cadre, sir. See, Gaurav, uh, I really don't understand the whole uh, moral of the story. Why, uh, of course, all said and done, I, I would admit the fact that uh, uh, Mrs. Deepa Jay Kumar is the niece of uh, Madam Dr. Jay Jalita. And if at all she wanted to be the successor of her, she would have definitely announced that uh, she, she will be my successor. But the fact of the matter is, she was not even invited to be with her or she did not have any direct contact for so many decades. Maybe uh, once in a while she was uh, meeting her uh, aunt. That's what I come to understand from the media report. But the uh, whole issue is, it is not a question of successor. He has, she has got all the right to uh, take the political punch and definitely she has got all the right to uh, plead to the people and the cadres. But the fact remains, again I want to reiterate that the ADMK party, the leadership, the minister, the the hierarchy, everybody are with Madam Sashikala, uh, who is the now uh, general secretary of the party. Yes. And uh, everybody is consolidated, standing behind her, yes, giving their full support to Madam Sashikala Nadrajan. And uh, going by the uh, whatever uh, we understand, uh, the ADMK party is a very disciplined party. Okay. And uh, uh, the speech of uh, general secretary was very clear on the day. Had, okay. uh, so you say the, the party that. stands with Sazikala Natarajan, the new party general secretary. But Sudhir, when you look at these supporters outside Deepa Jayakumar's residence, now what do you make of it? What are her political credentials? And while Jayalalitha was alive, what was the relationship like? Gaurav, there was a very interesting tweet this afternoon which kind of summed up what's happening in Tamil Nadu. It said politics in Tamil Nadu has come down to the knees now and quite literally. And that's precisely what is happening. Of course, the shots that we just saw on air from outside Deepa Jayakumar's residence are very interesting. It would lead us to believe as though she has a lot of ground support. Yes, there are some rumblings within the AIDMK cadre which seem to indicate that not everyone, at least among the lower cadre, is happy with the uh, coronation of Shashikala as the new 
Food General Secretary. But again, uh, Deepa Jai Kumar's own political moves, if you may have call it, are extremely suspicious because she has given herself 35 days to actually make her next political move. What? What? Why does she need this kind of time for? So what we are seeing is essentially poster wars with both Shashikala camp as well as Deepa Jai Kumar camp essentially using Amma, using the photograph of Jayalita to further their own political career. But at the same time, whether Jai, Deepa Jai Kumar is just a mask, whether there are some important people behind her, who is yes. funding her, are there disgruntled people within the AITMK who do not get along with Shashikala, who are in directly funding um, Deepa Jai Kumar or are there people from outside the AIDMK who are using her name, the fact that she is Jayalita's niece uh, to actually uh, create problems within the AIDMK. So not everything very, very much in the clear and even when you, if, if you notice, when Pramod asked her about her issues, she was actually not very clear. So at this point in time, we are seeing in some way, some kind of a repeat of what happened after MGR's uh, demise in 1987, okay, okay. when there was a tussle for the AIDMK leadership between the Janki Ramachandran faction and yes. the Jayalita faction. Oh, absolutely. But we saw how that panned out. It still remains to be seen how this one will pan out. And Mr. Sarvanan, how does the DMK view what's happening in the AIA DMK camp? See, uh, <clears throat> whatever, whoever uh, fights their post, I think it is their internal party matter. I think they should decide the pa ADMK party cadres and uh, uh, you know the uh, party the second line leaders who are in the uh, appropriate positions they should decide on the basis of a democratic process who should uh, you know lead uh, lead next i think uh, it is in a democratic society i think everybody has everybody can have an aspiration and whoever has, to, has that aspiration should match up if they're not going to match up they don't have the support of the people i think they're going to fail i think it's let's we should leave it to that democratic process okay we don't we have it any more than that Okay, okay, uh, a diplomatic answer there, but uh, Pramod, when you tell us, when you tell us about the people who are there on ground and you're saying that these are people not just from Chennai, they've come from other parts of Tamil Nadu, are these just party cadre or is there also party leadership, AIA, DMK leadership, uh, any prominent leaders who may be siding with Deepa Jai Kumar or are they all uh, with the Sasikala Natarajan faction? Well, Gaurav, I have to tell you that when you see the people around here, the mass, vast majority are from Chennai, around this local vicinity, but also a lot of people belonging to like a, from ADMK party, caters from Salem and even Bangalore, and someone is from Mumbai as well. I just asked her. Where are you திருப்பி அவங்களோட அண்ணன் மக வந்து அப்படியே நீங்க அம்மாவை நீங்க செத்துட்டான்னு சொல்றீங்க நாங்க உயிரோட இருக்கறாங்க அந்த அம்மாவை பார்த்தா நம்ம பார்க்க தேவலனாங்க well i have to tell you that she thinks that deepa looks like jayalalitha yes. and that's the reason she is over here she wants deepa to continue the legacy of jayalalitha okay. நீங்க admk party ல இருக்கீங்களா ஆ நாங்க admk party ல இருக்கீங்க எங்க பார்ட்டி இல்ல அந்த கட்சில வந்து ஒரு அந்த கட்சி மேல and the Kachila one day, you look at her, you look at her, but she just like even says she does not belong to the party. She is like uh, more interested in the party because of Jalalta, and that's the reason she is here because she sees Deepa as another uh, okay. bloodline of Jalalta Gaurav. Okay, stay with me for a moment. Vasanthi also joins us on the on the broadcast. Uh, you've written a book on Jayalalita and Jayalalita's journey. Uh, how would you describe the relationship between Jayalalita and her niece? And the niece now saying, I'm the rightful political heir, ma'am. No, I do not know. I haven't heard of this uh, girl. I mean, I only knew that Jayalalitha had a niece. and But then nobody knew, knew anything about her till uh, now. She has come out of the blue. She may be the niece, but then Jayalalitha didn't keep the relationship so close at all. And uh, these people who are trying to promote her as the uh, heir of Jayalalitha are the ones who are actually not very happy at the ascendance of Sashikala. So okay. I suppose it is because of that. And also the sentiment, the Tamil sentiment of uh, one's own blood. Probably they think yeah, okay. because she is uh, related. She, she is a blood relation to Jayalalitha. She would be the proper heir to Jayalalitha. Okay. 
uh, advocate Rajasekharan, will it make an impact that she's a blood relation? Uh, will will that uh, you know increase her popularity within the AIA DMK? And sir, how would you describe the party cadre, the AIA DMK cadre from Chennai, from Salem, from Madurai, also from Bangalore and Mumbai being here, sir? See, Gaurav, uh, see, I, I wouldn't say that the cadres uh, standing in front of uh, uh, Deepa Jay Kumar are the cadres of ADMK. I am a strong doubt and my uh, it has to be authenticated by uh, appropriate people. See, there are uh, 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 people standing in front of Deepa Jay Kumar's house. I don't dispute that. But what is the guarantee that they belong to the ADMK party or their vested interest acting in the interest against to uh, Madam Pratikala Natarajan, okay. who happens to be the general secretary, duly elected uh, in a democratic manner of the party of ADMK. So, going by all this, the pros and cons of uh, any any issue, I would give the benefit of doubt to the present ADMK stuff, which is more stronger than whatever the so-called claim from uh, Mrs. Deepa Jai Kumar, who happens to be, I don't dispute the relationship that she is the niece of Okay. Madam Dr. Jay but what kind of relationship, Sudhir, because you've covered politics in Tamil Nadu very closely. Sudhir, what kind of relationship did Deepa Jayakumar enjoy with Jay Lalita, considering she wasn't even a part of the party and she's now big, uh, you know, joining the AIA DMK or thinking of floating another party? Well, uh, the relationship, uh, Gaurav, was uh, pre pretty much non-existent as uh, Vasanti, Jai, Jai, who has written a biography of Jayalita, pointed out that she has really never heard of Deepa Jayakumar. So in that, and Deepa Jayakumar has herself gone on record saying that she wasn't really allowed entry into Poets Garden for the past many years. And of course, she was pointing a finger at Shashikala and the group that they were the ones to deny her access. But much more important is the fact that we need to look at it holistically in the political context. Because what's happening now is that there is... There are punches being uh, rained on the Shashikla camp in the AADMK by different sides. There was Rajni Kant who on the 14th of January said that there is an abnormal situation that is existing in Tamil Nadu today. There was S. Guru Murthy who is an RSS ideologue and the present new editor of Tugluk magazine okay. who said that Rajni Kant should take a plunge into politics. So there is some kind of a pressure being mounted on the AADMK which is why you have seen Shashikala's husband Natarajan who was pretty much a backroom operator till yes. now actually coming out in the open and accusing the BJP of trying to break the ADMK and even topple the ADMK government in Tamil Nadu. That's a very serious charge to make. Along with that, when you see this Deepa Jai Kumar's uh, okay. attempt to float a new party or perhaps even join the ADMK, you realize there is an attempt to put pressure on the Shashikala camp of the ADMK. Okay, so pressure tactics, of course, her next step, she says, will only be taken on the 24th. We will, of course, continue to track that story very closely. But Vasanti, Mr. Sarvanan, uh, Radsek, Mr. Radsekaran, T.S. Sudhir and Pramod Madhav, for the moment, many thanks for joining me here on this discussion. A